Yesterday marked the 246th anniversary of this nation's independence. 246 years of struggle and sacrifice to uphold the principles so dear to the character of our nation, liberty, democracy, God-given rights of every individual. It's a journey that has never finished, and it never will be fully finished. It's a work that requires us to look ahead to the future, the future we want to build, and to look carefully at our past. To understand fully where we've come from, for each of those 246 years, American patriots have answered our nation's call to military service. They stood in the way of danger, risked everything, literally everything, to defend our nation and our values. However, not every service member has received the full recognition they deserve. Today, we're setting the record straight. We're upgrading the awards of four soldiers who perform acts of incredible heroism during the Vietnam conflict, to respect the conspicuous gallantry and intrepid how in, and, and the intrepidability of their service. I mean, it's just astounding when you hear what each of them have done. They went far above and beyond the call of duty. It's a phrase always used, but it's, it, it, it just it takes on life when you see these men. To the late Staff Sergeant Edward M. Kinesiro, to Specialist 5 Dwight W. Birdwell, to Specialist 5 Dennis M. Fufuji, and to Major John Duffy. I'm proud to finally award our highest military recognition, the Medal of Honor, to each of you, one posthumously. It has been a long journey to this day for those heroes and their families, and more than 50 years have passed, 50 years since the jungles of Vietnam, where as young men, these soldiers first proved their mettle. But time has not diminished their astonishing bravery, their selflessness in putting the lives of others ahead of their own, and the gratitude that we as a nation owe them. 